What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Cam ATL, and welcome back to another MLB DFS video with your boy. Drop a like down below because I already know you're going to love it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Comment anything in the comment section to enter your name into the $50 giveaway. I do every single week on this channel. Yeah, I don't know what the hell I froze for. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining me as always, man. Happy Tuesday. Because I woke up this morning just feeling good, I put a 25% off discount on MLB Daily Package at GreenLightDFS.com. So you can get our Daily Package at GreenLightDFS for 25% off today only. So go take advantage of that. Thank you guys for joining me as always. Let's get straight into it. All right. I'm, lo I'm loving this slate. There's a player in that I'm also going to talk about that hasn't had the biggest games lately, but I just see a double dong home run coming soon and we're going to talk about that guy here soon all right there's a couple guys that i think have that potential on this slate today so let's get straight into it so first and foremost as you can see at the top of the list here i have a couple players in the same game max scherzer and jp sears now i don't usually like to do this but at the end of the day jp sears is 7-3 and the only time that I do do this and put two guys in the same game, because, you know, it takes away a bit of that win, like, win potential for both of your pitchers. Only one of them are most likely going to get the win bonus. But at the end of the day, J.P. Sears is only 7-3. We saw what Waldachuk did against Texas yesterday. He went six innings. He got seven strikeouts. Okay? J.P. Sears is at home in Oakland. Texas is a solid team versus lefties, don't get me wrong, but they're missing Jung who is a very solid left-handed hitter. They're missing him in the lineup, all right? So that lineup waters down slightly. They still have guys like Corey Seager, Adolis Garcia, all that. They've got a good lineup. I'm not in any way saying they don't. But J.P. Sears has is in a solid spot here at home in pitcher-friendly Oakland going against Texas at only 7-3. And he opens up a lot in the bats. Now, if we have a ton of amazing value pop, like, like for example, yesterday's slate, Pablo Reyes, great value, had him in our lineup, hit a grand slam. I believe he got two home runs. I can't remember. Pablo Reyes had an amazing game yesterday. Great value, which in turn allowed us to get Strider and allowed us to get Peralta. Peralta went out and did what aces do. Strider went out and struggled. It's crazy how sometimes pitchers in what are look like and what data supports to be the best spot you can ask for end up go out going out and sucking at times. That's why playing multiple versions of lineups is a very smart way. And at our green light optimizer, you can optimize 150 different versions. You know what I mean? But that's why these guys that you see win first place and these guys who, you know, win the, like professional amounts of money in DFS, they all have one thing in common. They all max enter. What we have been able to do, what I've been able to do throughout my DFS career with one solo lineup and, and you know, bringing members to the top of contests and stuff many, 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 many times is unheard of. That's not a normal thing, okay? Most of the time, you need to max enter if you're going to consistently win stuff like that. Um, so we've really done really well. And it all comes down to just studying, putting a ton of effort into this stuff, looking at every little thing, barrel percentages, launch angles, the things that nobody really wants to look at or cares to look at. That's what we take advantage of. We look at those things and we take advantage of people not looking at those things and possibly getting guys at a lower ownership than they should be. And Strider let us down yesterday. But at the end of the day, that's DFS. Guess what? The smart play was to play Strider because you had guys like Pablo Reyes who went out and performed and allowed that to happen throughout your lineup. So same kind of thing today. Dependent on what kind of value we have kind of depends on what we go with here. Now, if we get amazing value like a Pablo Reyes type again, then sure, going up to a Giolito or, you know, a lot of these guys in the top spots are tough spots though. That's why they're projected down here. If Valdez is against Baltimore, who Baltimore can be pesky as fuck. At home in Baltimore, Valdez is in a hard spot. Lucas Giolito is in an okay spot against San Francisco. I could acknowledge him. Kikuchi's going against Cleveland. Jose Ramirez is not quite suspended yet. He's still there. So that's tough. Cleveland doesn't strike out much. Wade Miley's in an interesting spot as another value guy. Grayson Rodriguez is against Houston. No thank you. 
So Miley I could consider. But yeah, I mean, there's just not a ton of great options. That's why I'm going J.P. Sears with no Jung in that Texas lineup. At home in Oakland, which is a pitcher-friendly ballpark, allows me to get to a stud that I'm going to talk about right now. Aaron Judge is my favorite bat on the slate. He was my favorite bat yesterday. He's my favorite bat today. I feel a double-dong performance coming from Judge. He is priced incredibly high. It's like DraftKings knows that's coming as well. That day is coming. He's going against Tukey today, the righty. Throughout Aaron Judge's career, he has had he has a higher Woba versus righties than he does lefties. He's one of those guys that, yes, hits his same hand better than the opposite. Aaron Judge is in a great spot here. He is in a spot. I'm telling you, we know the type of upside Judge has. A guy like Aaron Judge in your lineup who can hit two home runs can save your entire night if a guy or maybe two guys have down nights. A guy with the upside of Aaron Judge can not only put you to that potential of getting that GPP takedown and life-changing money, but can also save your night if other guys don't perform. So Aaron Judge, fantastic option, favorite bat on the entire slate. I'm hoping to be able to fit him in easily. But yeah, with J.P. Sears and some other options I'm going to talk about here in a second, you can get Aaron Judge. Next up in the outfield, a stud at 3-4. Has the lefty-righty matchup against Chirinos. Great spot for Jack Sawinski. We know this dude's potential. We know how much power he has. I believe he led the league in home runs at one point in the year. Uh, Obviously a while back, but he's a power hitter. He is a guy who's got a lot of power in that bat. He's got like a 380 Woba versus righties at home in Pittsburgh. Fantastic spot for him, man. He possesses a lot of upside. He's got multiple 30-plus point games this season. I mean, he's got like six over 30 this season. Like, he's got potential to get you that huge game. And in this matchup against Chirinos, it's a great spot for him. And only 3-4, you're getting that type of power as well. Next up at first base, somebody that sticks out to me is going to be Jack Bowers. Jack Bowers, Vogel Batch, both these guys are solid value options at first for me. Bowers is the guy I'm going to lean with because I really love the Yankees today. I really, really, really love the Yankees today. They're in a fantastic spot. Bowers should lead off again. We'll see what happens, but he should lead off again. He's been great. He's been fantastic. I mean, yeah, he had a down game yesterday for us. But again, he's a value who's leading off in a great matchup, and he makes a lot of things happen. So, so far, we've got some decent value. You've got Bowers who you can even put in the outfield and still get Vogelbatch in and get even more value. You know what I mean? So we've got solid value. The situation with the pitching options, though, is yes, Scherzer is my lock against Oakland. But when it comes to SP2, there's not a lot of SP2 options that really stick out as like, oh, yeah, this is great. It's tough matchups for those guys. So that's the high five. Max Scherzer, J.P. Sears, Jack Bowers, Aaron Judge, and Jack Sawinski is going to be the core there. Let's check out FanDuel and see what we got, what we're working with over here real quick. For pitching, Max Scherzer's 10-5. Giolito's a better price over here. 8-1 compared to J.P. Sears at 7-4. Definitely better value on FanDuel than he is on DK. I'm going to try to still get Scherzer. I like to get my overall favorite hitters if I can. Um, Aaron Judge, projected fantastic over here. 4K. Devers is another guy I really, really like. I really Jack Sawinski, 2-8. Got to start it off with him. Under 3K for Jack Sawinski. Got to get him. We know how great a value he is today. Um, We already talked about him. Tristan Cassis in that high Boston total is another guy that's very interesting. He's got a ton of upside. Um, Let's see. Let's go back up to the top up here. Rafael Devers at only 3.5. Looks like one of the better stud values. Aaron Judge, if I can get him in, I'll definitely love to do that. So Max Scherzer, Devers, Sawinski, Judge, Cassis, kind of the – options that I'm really looking at. Devers and Judge is my favorite spend up stud value uh, options. And then um, Sawinski, my favorite value. And then Cassis, my favorite value. We've got multiple options. Where's Bowers? Bowers is 2-7. He's also a value option over here. Um, yeah, we've got many options over here on FanDuel. So Scherzer's kind of the pitcher that I'm hoping to go with. So I'll be rocking with him. And then, uh, you know, Devers, Sawinski, Judge, and Cassis. Thank you guys for joining me as always, man. 25% off at Greenlight DFS for the daily subscription today. Go grab that. Let's have a big night. Thank you guys for joining me as always. I'm out. Peace.